What's up YouTube, Ivy again here, and as promised, I have a Dangerous Power Fusion FX unboxing. Uh, as you can see, the box is a little beat up. Um, I did get it used. Um, before I unbox it, I want to thank uh, Mike. Um, I've done a couple of deals with him uh, locally from Craigslist, and uh, definitely the best guy to go to for uh, Dangerous Power Guns. Um, he also has one on, on sale right now. It's a G3 Spec R um, with a bunch of upgrades and a PMD. Um, so if you're interested in a DP gun and you're local, you should probably give Mike a email or a shout. Um, but anyway, thanks a lot, Mike. Uh, got this at a really good price and uh, really appreciate it, man. Um, so uh, the unboxing. Um, keep in mind um, that it is used and it's missing a couple things. It's missing the lube and it's missing the Allen keys. I believe it comes with lube anyway, but I know it's missing Allen keys, um, which isn't a big deal. <clears throat> I still have my Allen keys, uh, the dangerous power ones or the ball ends. Uh, for my old DP gun, if you guys still remember that. But anyway, you open the box, uh, manual's on top, gorgeous manual. Um, this orange, dangerous power in here looks absolutely filthy in a good way. And it just, I don't know, it's nice. Uh, manual's really good. Uh, I'm going to give it a read tomorrow. Uh, piece of foam, woohoo. Um, and here it is, dangerous power FX. Uh, if you're colorblind or just stupid, um, the gun is silver and black, no offense. <laughs> And uh, let's take it out. <clears throat> so even though it's used, you no, know, I did do a little cleanup um, before I did this video. Uh, it's missing one decal there, um, but it's not like it really controls anything. You can see dangerous power on this side, and nothing on this side. Um, uh, there's the board. Let's wait for it to focus one sec. Let's see if we'll pick that up. Uh, camera's in focusing, don't know why, but there's the board. Um, switchblade trigger. Uh, sorry guys, kind of annoying with one hand. Um, but yeah, you know, if you ramping, probably. And semi-auto. I prefer this way for both, actually. I don't know. I don't really like that um, thing. They call it a rake trigger. I like the scythe better. Um, the only rake trigger that I actually liked was the invert mini, and everyone had problems with it, but I don't know. I really liked it. Um, but otherwise, this trigger is probably the way to go. Um, but yeah, really nice condition for um, uh, how used it is. Uh, I will not complain about the condition of this marker. Um, like I said, I did do a little cleanup. Uh, wraps ASA. Uh, missing another DP logo, uh, not a big deal. Um, the only thing that I'm probably going to change on this marker is this, the macro line. I don't like the macro line sticking out here. I'm probably going to cut it so that it'll be like this. Um, I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about, but when it sticks out like this, when you switch to your left hand, or no, no, when you're shooting, yeah, when you're shooting left-handed, then your hand's here. It's really effing annoying. It's like jutting into your hand, so I'm going to cut the macro line so I can put it like this properly. Um, anyway, sorry, uh, ranted on a little too long about that. Uh, unboxing underneath um, barrel sock and the uh, barrel back and the barrel front. I uh, don't know what the bore... Oh, there it is. Probably can't see that, but the bore is 689 uh, for the barrel. Might as well put the barrel on the gun. <coughs> Just give me one sec as I'm doing this with one hand. Like I said, you know, I picked this up for a pretty damn good Canadian price, so I'm definitely happy with the purchase, and um, probably going to be using it for a while. Um, I am probably going to get a G4 for Veronica, uh, who is my girlfriend, um, later on, uh, maybe in January or something, or maybe on Boxing Day. Um, but until then, you know, this is pretty much going to be what I'm using in my uh, videos at Richmond or Shore or Ambush, if I can get Jason to take me there to some speedball. Um, but anyway... <coughs> There it is. You know, real nice. And, um, yeah, so uh, stuff that I'm going to be doing to this, uh, even though it's a little behind, I'm probably going to do a maintenance video, a full breakdown on it, um, a review, as well as uh, probably an overview or something. As you guys know, I had the E-Tech 3, so I can do a comparison video as well, because I see tons of comments about it. So, um, definitely uh, do that up in a couple weeks or maybe a month or so, 
Uh, school's kind of biting on my ass. But anyway, uh, there you go. Dangerous Power FX, unboxed by Ivy. Um, my one comment on it is, damn. It's Ivy, and I'm gone.